Hey everyone, and welcome back to this mini course on how to upskill your trading ability. This is session five, and in this short video, we'll be getting into the four primary trading fears. In session four, as you may recall, we dove into the realm of trading errors and did some self-reflection into what may be causing you to make mistakes and the role that fear plays in that. I wanna take things even deeper now. Hey, we're in session five, almost at the end, so let's get deep, because I want you to explore how this may be affecting you not only on a conscious level, but also on a subconscious or unconscious level. In this statement from page 12 of Mark Douglas's classic market psychology book, Trading in the Zone, Mark lays down a big truth bomb. He says that 95% of trading errors you're likely to make, causing the money just to evaporate before your eyes, will stem from your attitudes about being wrong, losing money, missing out, and leaving money on the table. What I call the four primary trading fears. These four fears are also the risks that every trader faces every time they place a trade. They're all the risks that will certainly occur and therefore have to be accepted. They have to be accepted because fearing them occurring means fearing the emotional pain that'll be felt when they do occur. Fearing emotional pain will, in turn, cause the trader to try either consciously or unconsciously to avoid any possibility you define as painful. We're human. We try to avoid pain. Trying to avoid something that's impossible to avoid due to the uncertain and random nature of the market guaranteeing that they will occur will result in, during in the process, you'll subject yourself to any number of self-generated costly errors. Those are trading errors. Hint. The degree to which you feel discomfort, disappointment, distrust, frustration, despair, distress, any negative feeling you have about your trading when losing money, being wrong, missing out, leaving money on the table and all in drawdown is the degree to which you have not accepted the risk of any of these four primary trading fears happening to you. How much discomfort you feel is directly proportional to the amount of fear you still feel about any of the risks occurring again. After reflecting on these words and perhaps reading more of chapter one of Trading in the Zone if you have it, let's have another bash at the same slightly reworded questions you answered in the previous session, session four. Okay, so exercise. Do you agree that your trading errors are a result of faulty trading attitudes that you have about the four primary fears occurring with your trades? Yes or no? If no, what do you think that it is that causes the trading errors that you make? On page 14, he then goes on to talk about the trader's duality, confidence versus fear. He says, confidence and fear are contradictory states of mind that both stem from our beliefs and our attitudes. To be confident, functioning in an environment where you can easily lose more than you intend to risk requires absolute trust in yourself. However, you won't be able to achieve that trust until you've trained your mind to override your natural inclination to think in ways that are counterproductive to being a consistently successful trader. You really have two choices. You can try to eliminate risk by learning about as many market variables as possible. I call this the black hole of analysis because it's a path to ultimate frustration. Or you can learn how to redefine your trading activities in such a way that you truly accept the risk and you're no longer afraid. Okay, so another exercise. Do you agree that confidence and fear are contradictory states of mind? Yes or no? If no, what are your reasons for believing that they're not contradictory? And that both states of mind can be clearly present simultaneously without affecting your confidence. Do you agree that both stem from our beliefs and attitudes? Yes or no? If no, where do you believe they stem from? To be confident as a trader in the market, do you agree that this requires absolute trust in yourself? Yes or no? If no, how do you attain trading confidence in yourself at all times? How do you attain absolute trust in yourself as, as a, a trader? trader? Do you believe that you can try and eliminate risk by learning about as many market variables as possible? Yes or no? If yes, what analysis do you think you can learn, conduct or discover that will get you to completely accept the four primary fears or risks without making any trading errors? If no, why don't you feel that you can eliminate risk by learning as many market variables as possible? Remember, there are no right or wrong answers here. This is about self-reflection and sparking those critical conversations within yourself. The key takeaway here is this. 
Fear is a natural part of trading, but it shouldn't control your decisions. By understanding how your beliefs and attitudes impact your trading psychology, you can build the confidence to navigate the markets with a clear head. In session six, our final session, we'll bring all of these exercises and your responses together and talk about the chance you actually have of making it to becoming one of the top 10% of traders who go on to become and then remain unflappable, confident, consistent, objective, peaceful, and profitable for the rest of their trading lives. That's it for session five. I'll see you in session six. Bye for now.